Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories and we're going to jump right into the game with the next episode which is um uh Halloween Town because I don't I know this is going to piss someone off that I know I don't like Halloween Town I don't I love the movie I don't like Halloween Town in these games though so. And quite honestly, there isn't any more that they can do with Halloween Town because they've done both halves of the movie, pretty much, with Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. So I don't know what else they could do if they put Halloween Town back in Kingdom Hearts 3. I just really hope they don't, because I don't like it. I don't like the enemies. It's not the world per se, it's the enemies. That really pissed me off. That's with any ro world, really. Except for Agrabah. I think Agrabah is just pathetic. But, um, the enemies here are the Ghost Heartless, Heartless that you see um, in Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, there's the flying enemies that you'll find in Hollow Bastion, which are the gargoyle-like enemies. Oh my god! There's a fight at the beginning of the world. Like we haven't seen that before. Also, I've noticed um, the episodes are getting shorter. Which is actually pretty cool. I wanted that. I wanted the episodes to be less than 30 minutes. So, good. They're dropping below 25 now. This is episode 4, I think it is. And it's below 25 minutes. Which is really cool. It means I'm getting better at editing. Uh, no, and the Mummy Heartless are there. And I don't like them either. Yeah, take it from Simba. And the friend card you get in addition to Donald and Goofy is Jack. Jack is... He can use... Any... I think it's... Any, uh... Two spells similar to Donald. Except he can also use gravi uh, gravity... Gravity... Um, and... Something else. But yeah, I know he can use gravity. Like, uh, Genie. I honestly can't wait till we get to, um... Olympus Coliseum. Why? Because... That has probably my favorite summon in the entire game. But that's not where we're at right now. We're doing this. I actually have stuff to talk about this time. I can't really talk about the battles other than, you know, like, do what you do in a Heartless fight. Kill Heartless. Hey, level up. I also know what level I am by the end of this episode. By the end of the episode of the floor, by the end of this floor, um, I am level 20. There you go. Yeah, I don't know why I stocked that card. I didn't mean to. Uh, my deck, you'll notice, is actually getting more high-level cards in it, too. Um, like I said, the way that I'm building the deck is a slate deck. Um, so I'm getting quite a bit of CP. Um, in each episode. Uh, I think particularly with this set of up, uh, level ups, since level 16, um, I think it's all CP boost. This one, level 17, yeah, I'm choosing Blitz. The slight that's actually really difficult to do, unless you set up your deck really well to do it. Um, which I think I end up doing at one point, but I'm not sure. But like for the next four 
for five level ups, it's CP boosts. So yeah, I'm choosing a lot of um, uh, CP boosts for the card points that I'll need to build the slate deck. So here you go. Pretty much take if you're confused as to whether or not we should level. Like if you miss a level in my descriptions, um, every five levels I think it is. Every six. Except for the last time. Because at level 12 I got Strike Rate, and then at level 17 I got Blitz. From then on, I think it's every... Okay, I don't know then. <laughs> I'm checking, I'm looking over my level up guide that I have here that I wrote down on my own. I did this on my own time. But, um... Uh... It, basically, every time a slate comes up, get it. Um... If you feel your HP is adequate, like you haven't had trouble losing too much health in a fight, um, or rather you haven't had trouble with the amount of health that you have, then, you know, go with CP. However, um, if you haven't chosen HP in a long time, I recommend you choose HP every now and then. Because, yeah, you're gonna die. And I learned Terror, which is summon card, summon card, Jack, in this world. But if you don't have that, you can always choose Simba, Mushu, and then item card. We haven't gotten Mushu. Oh, and because um, that fight was fairly long, and it was at the beginning of the episode, and it showed, I think, all of the um, Heartless that are in this world, um, we're pretty much moving on to the next story point. Because I don't... Yeah. We don't need to stick around if... if I already, your guy, if you guys already know how what all what all the heartless are going to be, so yeah. And here we are at the next door, the door to Keyblade Gummies. I don't know. Apparently, I can't choose a zero card for this, even though zero card is supposed to fulfill any require uh, prerequisite. I'm not sure why this one didn't. I'm never going to use the Sorcerer's Waking, so I may as well do that. Um, I think later on in the series I'm going to show off the Moogle Room. Probably during the finale, to be honest, because that's when I'll be doing um, normal commentary. Uh, or the finale of uh, the first 13 floors. Because um, that's, yeah, that's when I'll be doing normal commentary. Maybe I'm too smart. But, uh, let's see. It It's that way I can just, like, cut in when I bring back commentary. Like, you know, I don't have to worry about in, in uh, video recording. I don't have to go in and be like, well, I need this amount of time to explain this amount of stuff. I can just explain it on the fly when I do live commentary. So we'll see the Moogle Room during the finale. If you're confused about what that is, it's where you spend Moogle points. Um, if you want my basic, like, guide as to what you should get, um, I don't think it's worth it during the first set of cards. These, this, f these first, like, six, I think it is, six worlds, I don't think it's worth it. Once you get to the second set, maybe you should start thinking about buying cards from Moog from the Moogles. But before that, no. Definitely not worth it. Just because they don't sell adequate cards. Like, they're really weak. They're usually the high... You'll get really... You're really hard-pressed to find a 9. Um, usually the highest you get is about 6. So, um... I guess what I can talk about in between these story points that you can read on your own if you really want to. Um, these are really, like, basic. It's basically the story of the world in Kingdom Hearts 1, but swap anything having to do with hearts with memories. That's pretty much it. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm taking a 3D, uh, like, a 3D modeling class. Creed would know all about this, because he's already gone through his college courses of 3D modeling. I believe he's, like, 
in the third quarter, which I forget what it is. I think it's video effects, but I'm not sure. I'm I I'm not keeping tabs on him. So as far as his schooling goes, but um, I'm doing an introduction introductory 3D modeling class right now. Um, and I think we're gonna be learning how to make weapons, props, vehicles, and environments. Um, and then I think next semester I'm going to be taking a character modeling and then, oh man, when I take character modeling, you guys are actually going to be able to see my, um, like male slash female original characters, which, um, I name, uh, if any chance I get in a video game to name a character as some of you may have seen, I haven't really gotten to show it off. Um, a whole lot? I don't think. I don't think I've had a game, except for Persona 4, where I got to name the main character. I haven't played Pokemon, I haven't done a Let's Play Pokemon just yet. Um, and I haven't done, like, Skyrim, or any, like, super major RPG. I don't remember if I've done... Yeah, I haven't done any game where I can name my own character. Um, have I... No, I don't think so. But yeah, um, any chance I get to name the character, um, if it's a male character, its first name, his first name is Riku. Um, not Riku from Kingdom Hearts. Actually, my middle name translated into Japanese is Riku. No, my middle name is not Earth. But um, it, it does translate to Riku. And then his last name is Aozora. And Aozora, A-O-Z-O-R-A, is Blue Sky. So, there you go. Um, and then if it's a female character, uh, if I decide to play as a female, then I name her Sarah, um, which was the name first name of an original character in a fan manga that I was making, um, which was fun, I guess. Uh, I don't have it anymore, obviously, but, well, it's, it's lying around here. I, I really should, I really do want to go back to it, but, um, I don't have time to do it. Uh, and her, if the, if it's a female character, first name is Sarah. And the last name is Tsubasa. Tsubasa, I believe, means... Um... Wings? Or flight? I'm pretty sure it's wings. Because I remember the name Benny Tsubasa from Sekirei, and I found out that that meant crimson wings. So I'm pretty sure Tsubasa is wings. This, t keeping in with the whole idea of the sky with between Alzora and Tsubasa. So they're both like original characters that I always that I always name main or protagonists after if I can name the character. Also, um we have a boss fight with Ugi. Um big surprise since that happened in the first game. Um also I wanna take the time to say this. I know this is gonna cut into the boss fight when I talk about this, but this kind of became an issue, because a couple people have been committing this heinous crime on this channel. Um, number one rule on my channel is don't post spoilers. Ever. I don't care how old the game is. I don't care how many people have played it before on this channel. I don't freaking care about any of that. If I'm let's playing the game, don't post spoilers. If I'm going to let's play the game, and yes, you can, you should be able to tell if I'm going to let's play it because I usually announce them fairly early on. Not to mention, I don't stop playing a series of games in the middle of the series. I don't know why people have been asking me if I'm going to do the rest of the Kingdom Hearts series. Of course I'm going to do the rest of the Kingdom Hearts series. Why would I stop at Chain of Memories of all games? I'd stop at Kingdom Hearts 2, if anything. That's when I expected a bunch of people like, is this going to be the last one you're going to play for 3? But 
Everybody's been asking, oh, are you going to do the other Kingdom Hearts games? Yes, I am, obviously. And that in mind, you shouldn't be spoiling the other Kingdom Hearts games or talking about future ones in my videos. Last video, episode 3, someone spoiled the name of the blonde girl that we saw in the last episode. At the end of the last episode. Don't do that! It pisses me off. Everybody who knows this rule already knows that it pisses me off. So I don't want to see spoilers, okay? That's like it. I just talked halfway through the boss fight, but I don't care. I need to say that because no one's gonna like watch the. Not everybody's gonna watch the freaking update video once I make it. For like the announcement or, or not announcement, but like an update video of like rules and conduct and whatnot. So, I gotta talk about it now. I think during this boss fight I'm actually level 19. But I level up to level 20. That sucks, I was that close to being like... Uh, if you want a good way to see which cards you should be um, saving up for, it's the ones that have the blue uh, shell around them. This is going to use up some of my time to fight him, but I need the extra cards. There we go. Um, basically, yeah, he throws dice out, and um, you need to break his card when he throws the dice out. Um, I'd personally wait to save your best card um, for when you see the dice with the blue shell around them. Also, I didn't level up, so I must have been level 20. Alrighty. because that's all you care about. She's a science man. She blinded me with science. Not, I, personally, I think it wouldn't matter if you'd take him, because, you know, quite honestly, you, since it's only a figment of your memories, um, it probably wouldn't work on you. Yeah, Ogi could have remembered that he was, like, repeatedly abused by his father or something. That would be weird. What, would his, what was his dad, then? A sack of marshmallows? Because Ogi's just a sack of insects. Well, then, what's, what's a step up from insects? Um... Birds? No. I don't know. Insects are completely different from mammals and, and uh, aviary creatures. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm still not sure where I am. And so, the story of Halloween Town comes to an end. After under... After 19 minutes and 40-something seconds. It's actually fairly short. Oh, Blizzard. That's why you check the surround. Oh, and I got an eight. 
that's why you check the surrounding area. Because you can get crap like that. And you'll see me fix up my deck here. Because I'm like, yeah, eight. Eight. A freaking eight. And I don't think I'm going to have enough room for it. But I'm going to take out that five. Take out the five! Or Simba. Actually, um... Did I take out the zero? No, I didn't. Okay. I was going to say. Um... I think I also, off-screen, I got a, a uh, an ability called Blizzard Raid. And Blizzard Raid is basically Blizzard, King, uh, Keyblade, Keyblade. That's pretty much the combo you need to... Uh, the slate, or the cards you need to stock for Blizzard Raid. We're actually not going to get Strike Raid for the slate... Wait, did we get... Oh no, we got Strike Raid at level 12. Never mind. I thought we got it later. So you'll see it right here, I'm level 20. Um, I, there's, there's no boss fight here. Um, I think on the next floor there is? I don't remember. Watch the cutscene. Who could that have been before? In my memory. It wasn't Kyrie, But another... Girl? Maybe... I think her name was... Sarah! Yeah! Let's go! You want to find Nico and the pig, don't you? Um... Sure. Man... Was right on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. So wait a second. You're remembering... Another girl that we didn't see in Kingdom Hearts 1? Wait, did we? I don't remember. I remember. Huh? What? There was another girl. What? A girl? Where? No, no. I mean on the islands where I used to live. Besides Kyrie and Riku, there was one other girl I was friends with. The four of us played together all the time. Sora? Seems to me that's the first time you've mentioned her. Yeah. I guess I forgot all about her. I think... She just suddenly went away, when I was still really little. What do you think makes you remember that now? I'm not sure, but it's been coming back in pieces as we go through the castle. Gorse, do you remember her name? I don't remember. I feel kind of dumb. We said we weren't going to forget our friends, and well now, I can't even remember her name. Sora! Oh, you shouldn't be worrying none. If it's been coming back to you in pieces, you're sure to remember her name just like everything else. Hmm. To find is to lose, and to lose is to find. As Sora forgets more, he remembers more about this mysterious girl. And as we progress through the castle, everyone else seems to just be losing more memories. No one else is remember anything else. I'm certainly not. I'm losing more as we go! Why is this only happening to us? So, uh, you bastard. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories where we tackle the fifth floor.